What's up, beautiful family? Hope that you guys are having a great morning. I have my son with me. I've actually been out today and yesterday. Um, he had hand, foot, and mouth. Again, I didn't know that this was reoccurring. This is something that a child could get again, but we are dealing with it. Um, thank goodness it wasn't as bad as it was last time. Last time, he had uh, like a breakout all over his body, but he didn't have the mouth pain last time. This time, he only has a breakout on his on one hand and one foot, and he does have the mouth sores this time. So, they did give him something uh, for his mouth pain, which is getting better. Um, but as long as they have the sores on their hands, from what I'm told, it's still pretty contagious. So, I've kept him out. I'm going to keep him out today through the weekend, and we're going to see how everything goes, and hopefully he'll be able to return on Monday. So, um, we're just headed uptown to, um, I want to get some things to make chili tonight because the weather here in Florida has just been wonderful. It's been cool. It reminds me of fall. <laughs> it is fall, but the weather reminds me of fall. Normally here in Florida, it's super, super hot. Even going into the Christmas months, you know, we deal with heat, but it's been really nice. So, um, yeah, we're just headed uptown to do that, and I'm going to get coffee. But I wanted to come on and bring something to y'all's attention that I didn't even know about <clears throat> until about five of y'all sent this to me through Instagram, and I really appreciate y'all sending me things because a lot of the times it's, it's so hard for me to keep up with everything. And even though I can't respond to every single person on there because it's just, it takes a lot of time, um, I really appreciate you guys and I do read um, all of it. So I wanted to bring it to y'all's attention. I'm going to read it really quick. What this is, is a, it's a, a huge digital clock that they have, that two artists have created and put on the side of a building in Manhattan and basically what they're saying that it is is a is a lifespan of the earth and it's very intriguing it's very interesting I want you guys to just take a look at it I'm gonna read um, what was posted on the post I believe by Washington Post and then um, and then we'll talk about it and I'll tell you guys why I think this is just it's very interesting you guys will see what I'm talking about here you go a new digital clock unveiled in Manhattan's Union Square over the weekend promises to tell you exactly how long the world has left to act before an irreversible climate emergency alters human existence. The climate clock unveiled by artists Gan Golan and Andrew Boyd warned at 1.30 p.m. Monday that there were seven years, 101 days, 17 hours, 29 minutes, and 22 seconds until Earth's carbon budget is depleted based on current emission rates. A total depletion would thrust the world into further turmoil and suffering through more flooding, more, wildfire, uh, more wildfires, worsening famine, and extensive human displacement, according to the artists. The timer counts down how long it will take for the world to burn through its carbon budget if swift action isn't taken to keep warming under 1.5 degrees Celsius. If Earth's temperatures increase by 1.5 degrees Celsius, the planet will fall victim to extreme heat waves, fires, droughts, and limited water availability. A 2019 NASA report on global climate change warns. The clock's second figure displayed in green is labeled a lifeline. It tracks the percentage of available energy being supplied from renewable sources. And then it just says read more by clicking the link in our bio. So I find this very interesting because it starts out with seven years and we know that the tribulation period is seven years. Um, and as soon as I saw this, I immediately thought that this is 110% the enemy using anything and everything and everyone that he can to condition the world to believe that during the tribulation period, what is going to happen is not God, but climate change. They're literally disguising this as climate change. And you can see them conditioning people to think that way. 
And so, you know, look at how they have conditioned people to believe in aliens. I mean, they have really hyped aliens up. And so when the rapture happens, they're going to be so conditioned, the people that are completely asleep and non-believers are going to be so conditioned into believing that the rapture of the church was in fact an alien invasion. Um, and I immediately thought kind of, kind of the same thing when I saw this clock that they're conditioning people to think that when the tribulation starts and you know only only the Lord knows how bad it's going to be like we have no idea but um, as the tribulation period the seven year tribulation period gets worse and God pours out his wrath um, you know people are not going to see uh, Jesus coming on the clouds until the second coming when the rapture of the church happens the Bible says that we meet the Lord in the air. And so the non-believers are not going to know what happened. Now, some people will that heard the message, but just didn't want to believe it at the time. And many people will be saved during the tribulation. And many people after the rapture of the, hap after the, rapture of the church happens will know what happened. But there's a lot of people that are just going to believe that aliens abducted us. And it, as crazy as it sounds, that's the way people have been conditioned. And the same thing goes for um, the seven years of tribulation. People are not going to see the Lord until the second coming at the very end of the seven years when he comes upon the clouds. And everyone will know that he is Lord. I have had a dream of the second coming. I saw the Lord coming on the clouds. And... Every knee will bow and know that he is Lord. And so, but while these things are happening during the tribulation, people are still going to believe lies, okay? And people are also going to believe that the Antichrist who comes on the scene is the Messiah. <laughs> the answer to everyone's prayers. They're going to believe that. We don't have to get gas right now, honey. Mommy's almost done talking, okay? I <laughs> see that truck, baby. So, yeah, when the Antichrist comes on the scene and says peace and safety and he has all the answers once we're gone, um, people are going to believe that he's the Messiah, that, you know, that he is God. They're going to believe a lie. And so I just found this very interesting. Um, I think they, you can see them disguising it. And Satan uses all things and all people. He's probably behind these people. Um, and... You can just see how they're setting people up to believe a lie. Oh, it's just climate change. You know, all this stuff happening. It's just climate change. You're going to, you know, eh. Satan will literally try to deceive people all the way up until he doesn't have a chance anymore. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to bring this to you. I thought this was really fascinating. Um, you guys leave your thoughts and opinions below i would love to hear what you guys have to say and again thank you guys so much for sending this to me if you have not believed in jesus christ today i um i advise that you do uh we don't have much time left we know that we're in the season uh of the rapture of the church because the lord says why you know he bleh, he says that we're children of the light and that is why um, we know that we're in the season because he said that we would know. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I love you guys all so much. Um, just wanted to bring that to you guys today. And I have a few more things that I want to talk about, but I'll probably break it up into another video since I'm um, running a couple errands today. All right. So I love you all and I'll talk to you soon.